This is not a prank. I need to borrow your hoverboard. Our introduction to a levitating skateboard came via Marty McFly. He's on a hoverboard! In the 25 years since Back to the Future 2, the world has longed for a skateboard that floats on the air. The desire is so strong that last year's Funny or Die hoverboard prank garnered more than 14 million page views. Funny or Die did it using special effects. Now a California company called Arx Pax has created the Hendo hoverboard. The Hendo hoverboard is the real thing. And to prove it, I took a spin in it myself. Fortunately, I have spotters. Whoa. Perhaps we should just leave this to the pros. How does it work? The hoverboard's engines produce a magnetic field that creates a corresponding field inside the copper floor. The two fields repel each other, causing the Hendo to float about an inch over the surface. Isn't science wonderful? Starting today, 10 lucky Kickstarter supporters will have the opportunity to buy one of these suckers for the low, low price of just $10,000. Remember, this is just a prototype. At nearly 100 pounds, and with a battery life of about seven minutes, you won't be taking this hoverboard to the skate park. The version Kickstarter fans will receive will be smaller and sleeker, with more sophisticated motion controls and better battery life. It's also a lot quieter. The bad news? Get their hands or feet on the Hendo. They'll have to wait until October 21st, 2015, the day Marty McFly arrives in Back to the Future 2. For more tech tips and tricks, check out yahootech.com. I don't think Tony Hawk has anything to worry about.